so let's lean back for this one. So just to get this out the way, oh my gosh, it's the, the biggest question I ever get asked. What is my type? Do I YouTube, what is going on? Yo, I'm back with another video once again. I know it's been like three days, but y'all, I'm back. That's all that matters. So like, comment, and subscribe before we get into this video. But today, today I'm not about to do a prank. Well, I might do a prank, who knows? But y'all, I'm about to do a Q&A, a little Q&A update, you feel me? Okay, so we're just gonna start off with the first one. I'm just about to go through every single one, not duplicates though. I'm not about to go through the duplicates. My hair is going crazy right now, so bear with me. They said, you moved to ATL. Did I move to ATL? So the answer to that question would be yes. Temporary. Right now, I am with our minor trade and I'm living in ATL right now. So that is all I, I could give you on that right now. I might be moving. Who knows? I might be moving back to Houston. I might be moving back to Indy. I have no idea. It could be anywhere. But yeah. I moved to ATL right now. So to answer that question, I moved to ATL. But there could be better, better options. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. What's my type? So just to, so let's lean back for this one. So just to get this out the way, oh my gosh, it's the, the biggest question I ever get asked. What is my type? Do I like white girls? Do I like Mexican girls? Do I like black girls? Do I like Hispanic girls? What is the answer? Look, y'all. I know you guys saw in a in an old old challenge back in uh, I don't know, like two years ago. I said I do not like black girls, y'all. That is not true no more. I don't know what changed, but I do like black girls. I do like any type. Just to get that out of the way, the reason I say the black girl is because. Everybody always says, do you like black girls? And that's like the main question. It's not always, do you like Hispanic girls, Mexican girls, you know, all that. But yes, I do like black girls. And yes, I do like any type. So just to get that out the way, I do like any type. If you are cute, if you have a good personality, if you got great features, anything like that, and I like it, and you are black, white, Mexican, yellow, purple, blue, red, I'm going to like you. It all depends on how I feel about you. Next question, where have you been? I've been here. I've been here, man. I've just been chilling, relaxing, all cool, shooting some b-ball outside of school, you feel me? Yo, I've been, I, I mean, if I think he was talking about, let's see. Where, where have you been? I think he was talking about when I was in Indy. Y'all, I, I was in Indy for a, a good amount of time, okay? I mean, I can't really give y'all a reason why I've been in Indy so long, but I was, you know? Like, I was just chilling down there. I was enjoying time with family and, you know, all that other stuff. But I stayed in Indy, and that's, that's it. There's really no explanation to that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over all of these, but some of them is just like fusing to me and I don't know, I guess not good question. Every question's good, but they said, would you be cool with Jazz and Tay again? See y'all, what y'all don't understand is I'm cool with every single person you saw me hanging out with in the videos back then, two years ago. So would you be cool with Jazz and Tay again? I am cool with Jazz and Tay. Do you see me with Jazz and Tay anymore? No. Why? I mean, hey, people got their own lives, you feel me? Like, I still talk to them, FaceTime, you know, all that good stuff. It's, it's still in contact. If I were to see Jazz now, we would shake up. If I were to see Tay right now, we would hug. Boom, boom, shake up. What's good? What's good? That's it. That's all. So when y'all keep saying, are you still cool with Jazz and Tay? Are you still cool with Chris? Yes, I am cool with all of them. So get that question out the way because that question is so common as well. There's a lot of common questions that y'all always put, you know, everybody spams the same ones. So next question. What did or do you want to be when you grow up? That is a great question. I do not know what I want to be when I grow up because, I, I mean, I can't really give you a reason, but like, I have no idea. What Right now, I want to be a full-time YouTuber and make a whole bunch of money and you know, you know, whatever opportunities come with that, 
I'm gonna take him, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna weigh my decisions and I'm gonna take him. Who's your idol or who you look up to? My idol. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna just tell you straight up. My idol is JB, Justin Bieber. That man is just very inspirational. His music's very good, inspirational as well. I mean, he's just, to me, an overall cool, good, inspirational person, you know what I'm saying? Like. That's that man to me in my eyes. Y'all can think otherwise, wise, and I know you probably will, but JB, that's 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 really my idol. I wish I could sing like my man's. You feel me? But I can't. <laughs> so next one. Best or favorite childhood memory? Wow, that's that's a great question. Best best or favorite childhood memory. What is my best or favorite childhood memory? Guys, I don't remember a whole lot from my childhood, but I remember a little bit. Okay, not my, it's not like the, it's, it's not like a happy moment, but the one I really remember is when one time my friend was like, hey, you trying to ride bikes? And I'm like, yeah, of course, because I just got this cool bike. It was like, it was like the next up ones. It was all white, bro. It was like thunder throughout the whole thing. And it was just dope, bro. I had pegs on both the front and the back. So look, so my brother was in the back pegs. So really what it was, my friend Chris was driving because he, he, you know, he was bigger, you know, he riding the bike. So he riding the bike to weigh it up. Cause if I ride it and he sits on top, it's gonna weigh over, you feel me? And me and my brother were tiny at the time. We were like, I don't even know, bro. We were like 10, like real tiny dudes. So um, my brother was in the back pegs. So we was really debating like, Oh, who's gonna get the front? Because you know the front's most dangerous. You know what I'm saying? If you fall, you you get hurt. You feel me? So someone's gotta take it. So you know me, I be doing all the crazy things. So I was like, Jacob, that's my brother's name, Jacob. You can have the back pace. He's like, all right, bet. I'ma take the front. I hop on the front, boom, you know, right on it. Yo, we riding down, bro. We get through the whole block and there's this hill. There's this one hill, you know. I already knew he was about to go down it, but there was one hill. He didn't even say nothing. We was just, I just saw him going down. So I'm like preparing. I got my, I got my hands like this and I'm on top. I'm on, on the, uh, on the bike like this in the front. And he going, bro. And it just was so fast. I lost grip, bro. And I fell face planted right, right on the grass. Face planted and just got ran over, bro. So I was so tiny, bro. I started crying like a little baby and then this uh then this uh person in the neighborhood uh came and got me this uh this uh this dad i don't even know who he was but he picked me up <laughs> handed me to my dad like got my dad and my dad was so mad he took off my pegs to my bike so he took off the funnest part of the bike but he took that off right and you know that was that was the end of the story like i mean that's that's one of my childhood memories that i really remember because i got hurt but i can't really right now on the spot think of a childhood memory that really you know went crazy happy you know you know enjoyable all that i mean birthdays of course my birthdays was always lit my mom and my dad always threw something good with my birthdays because i would always hang out with uh just like all family and i love hanging out with all family Next question, do I have a girlfriend? No, I do not have a girlfriend. Here, here, I'm gonna tell y'all why I do not have a girlfriend. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's because I'm waiting on the right one. Why, why rush a relationship? Why get in a relationship just to like, get basically get back out of it? Like, if I don't really feel like I'm supposed to be with that person, if I don't got that feeling in my heart, I'm not even just gonna try, I'm not even gonna waste my time. But people say, why would you not get in a relationship and uh, just try it out, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what that, you don't really know that person until you get with them and start talking and living every day or every other day with them. So, I mean, so that, that, go, that goes both ways, I guess. That definitely goes both ways with me in that question on do I have a girlfriend, but I mean, I do not have a girlfriend. Do I talk to girls? Duh. Like, that's it on that. Like, of course I talk to females. Next question. What's something you must have on you except your phone? Okay. That's a different question. I like that one. I really do like that question. So question again, That what's something you must have on you? So what's something I must have on me? Of course, guys, I need to have my ID on me. I always carry my ID on me in my left pocket. So if you guys trying to rob me for my ID, it's in my left pocket. So 
go ahead and try to get it. But also I have money, money, it's always money, ID, and uh, my phone. That's always the three necessities in my pocket. Other than that, sometimes my charger is in it if I'm going some places. But that is something that I must have on me. It's those three right there. My height. Wait, how tall is Josh Massey? How tall is Josh Massey? Y'all, I'm gonna tell you like this. I say I am 5'11". I think I am 5'11". I used to be 5'9", but you know what they say about the 5'9 people. It could go from five, you, like 5'9", people always say they 5'10", 5'11", but it's never six foot. So it's always them three, it's like the same because when you say you 5'9", like you, I'm really 5'9", you know what I'm saying? But I could be 5'11". I always go with 5'11", because it sounds a lot better to me. What is Josh Massey's favorite color? These are basic questions. My favorite color would have to, okay, so I base my favorite color Okay, my favorite color is orange, right? A base that favorite color is because all foods that are orange to me taste wonderful. Like orange juice, A1, without no pulp. Sunny D, you know, orange Kool-Aid, fire. Hawaiian punch orange, fire. Oranges, fire. And stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So really it's orange, but I don't really wear orange in clothes at all. At all. I used to say my favorite color is maroon, then I changed it to dark blue, bro. I really don't have a favorite color, but if you want to say, Josh, what's your favorite color? I'm going to say orange because I just love the food that's orange, really, <laughs> to be honest. Last question. So they said, if I could have any dog as my pet, what would it be? What would it be? Okay, dog. Okay, look. So if I could have any pet at all and it wouldn't just be a dog, I would get a tiger, to be honest, a white tiger. Those would be extremely dope. With blue eyes, crazy. But a dog, I would get, I, I already have my answer because this is a question that's always been in my mind and always will be until I get that dog. The dog I would want to have is a St. Bernard. Bro, St. Bernards are crazy, bro. They look extremely soft and and just extremely soft, they're intelligent, bro. Like, they was in, they were supposed to be in Alaska helping people on sleds. Y'all see the movie Snow Dogs? Yeah, that St. Bernard helped people out, you me? But look, I really would like any dog that's some type of big, you feel me? Because I, I kinda, I kinda have a dream of riding the dog, you know? Like, bond time, you feel me? But if I could have any dog, it would be a St. Bernard. Yeah, cut, that wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, a little Q&A update for you guys. Guys, I just want to say that more videos are coming soon. Coming soon. So after this video, there will be another video. After the next video, there will be another one. Guys, just stay tuned because there's a whole bunch of lit videos coming out, coming your way. So, guys, I love you guys so much. Make sure you smash the like button. Give this video a thumbs up, man. Comment down below. Whatever you got to say, just put it down in the comment section. I don't even care. I'm going to read it, okay? Most importantly, subscribe, man. If you have not subscribed yet, click that button, bro. Click that button right now. Love you guys so much. Peace out.